Hello, my name is Michael Aguera, and I thought it would be interesting if I covered how I modeled the animatronic pair of eyes that I created. I began by taking measurements of the servo motors that I would use so I had a sense of scale for the overall model. After modeling the main base, I went on to design the mechanism that would actually control which way the eye was looking. Because I wanted the eye to look up and down as well as left and right, I had to have a leverage point on the top of the eye as well as on one of the sides. To do this, I planned on using threaded steel rods that would be connected to the servo as well as to a 3D printed piece that you can see me modeling here. At this point, I had modeled all the necessary mechanisms to pivot the eye the way that I liked, and I printed my first prototype. I then found that I had to make modifications to the size or geometry of the shape so that it actually had enough space to rotate, and once doing that, I was able to model the outer shell of the eye. I relied on friction to keep that in place and didn't have an issue, so I didn't have to change that model too much. Then I started work on the main base again, connecting the eye to a central pivot point, and then began work on the eyelids. The eyelids were not difficult to model, but they did present issues after 3D printing them. The tolerances between each eyelid as well as um, each eyelid to the eye were very small, so I had to figure out how I could 3D print it so that the eyelids came out structurally sound while also keeping the tolerances intact so that each piece could rotate freely of one another. I also had problems 3D printing the eyelids since they're very thin. I had to make the base of them a bit thicker so that they would actually print properly. After doing that, I had no issues, so I was able to implement it back into the original model and connect the pivot points to the base as I did with the eye before. Then I was able to add a spacer between the two eyes, mirror one eye over to the other side, and then I had the pair of eyes completed. All I needed to do was control the eyelids themselves, so I had to add two more servos and the connection between the eyelids and the servos that would actually control the motion. Unfortunately, I ran out of the threaded metal rods that I used for the eyes, so I had to 3D print my own. Because the servos are mounted slightly off-center, I did face problems having the control rods as a single piece. Because they aren't flexible, it just jammed the system when the servo would rotate, so I had to add an extra pivot in order to make it rotate properly and control the eyelids as I wanted. Overall, I'm happy with the design I came up with. There are still a few issues that I want to fix. The tolerances need to be a bit tighter, and with the eyelids, the control rods could be one piece. I could possibly move the servos into a vertical position instead of horizontal, and then possibly make the control rod all one piece without causing any issues. So I hope to fix that in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed going over how I modeled my animatronic pair of eyes, and if you don't know how these mechanisms work or are just getting started in animatronics, I hope this helps. Again, I'm Michael Aguera, and thank you for watching.